Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to Rare World. He is finally here. Mizku, Doctor Doom. Quick look at the back of the box. Over there, I've got my Marvel Legends one ready for the comparison. Today, we're doing this in the Bat Cave. You have to excuse the cricket in the background, some background ambiance. Can't get rid of it. But, um, super excited to be checking this dude out. Yeah. Let's have a look. And here we have him, out of the box and on display. Looking pretty majestic and imposing. Victor Von Doom. Quick look at top to bottom. You can see there's a lot of details here. Loving the cape. I'm not 100% feeling the black inside of the cape, but um, I guess it just, yeah. It makes it look a little bit cheap. I mean, you can see the seams and stuff like that. Like it's, it, it is noticeable, um, but it could be a shadow, you know, the same as under his hood there. Um, well, it comes off with the same kind of effect. So that works. Take a quick look at the back of him. And again, I am digging the wired cape. It's cool to um, be able to give the cape a bit of life. Nice and clean. Loving the gold pauldrons. And um, I had to put him in a nice ruler pose. Quick look at the belt. The seams in the arms. Die cast, and it is quite heavy. Um, so it feels good. It feels quality. I am wondering about the ankles, so how long they will hold up because the figure is. Yeah, pretty heavy and pretty top heavy. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. But overall, I think he looks incredible. Uh, I haven't put anything on him as of yet. I just wanted to try and just get him straight out of the box. Um, and yeah, I love the mask. The futs with the hood a little bit and I probably still need to work with that a bit more uh, to get it looking just right. But I don't know guys, uh, I think it's pretty good. I kind of see what the, all the hype is about. Yeah, I like him. I've been looking forward to him for a while. Not 100% sure he lives up to expectations. We'll find out as we go. I mean, there's a lot of accessories here and we keep to look at the head sculpt, see how he is with articulation. But yeah, we we'll move on. Final look here. All right, let's move on. And a real quick look at all of the accessories that come with Doom. A bunch of hands. Uh, his gun, and, uh, the holster, which goes into his belt, an alternative belt, which I'm not going to muck around with. I, uh, as much as I love all these accessories, again, I think I've seen it in multiple videos now, you get so much good stuff. I'm not complaining, but for me personally, I, I just don't use it all. Uh, I'm probably just too lazy, to be honest with you, to have to go through the hassle of taking things off and then putting it back on again. Uh, once I've found a look I like, I just tend to stick with that in my display. But I will go through and have a closer look and um, change things up later on in the video. Yeah, just a quick look at some flight uh, effects for his feet. Uh, we've got a book that actually opens up, some details on there. His gun, holster, um, uh, swappable face, um, obviously swappable uh, masks there. So it's a clean version. I do have the scarred version, I have swapped it over. So we've got a magnet on the head. And then we have the scarred head sculpt, which is very fitting for Doctor Doom. You need this one, this is kind of his more default look. Well, to me anyways. That's how he looks in the very first Marvel Legends Doctor Doom figure. He's got a scarred face, which was pretty cool back then. And this is just such a... It's crazy to think how far uh, these action figures have come since those early days. Um, and got some different masks there. One more angry one, just similar to the one he's got on now. Um, and then a cleaner, smoother one, uh, which... I don't know. I, I think I just prefer the, the standard default look with all the bolts and stuff. See his eyes underneath the mask. Bunch of hands, a pouch to go onto his belt. Um, all the hands with different spell effects. Got a pointing one there. 
Mm, what else we got? Some uh, magic effects. It's pretty cool. He's already got the hands sculpted for that set there in the middle. And we got some more effects over here. We've obviously got the um, the siphon, the power, the cosmic. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, the harness that he has to siphon powers off like Galactus and stuff, which is pretty sick. And I know a lot of people that have the Haslab Galactus are definitely looking forward to this figure to add to their display. And we've got some other little effects there. It's the like the like the HUD that goes onto um, the siphon there. Some jetpack effects for his back. And another spell effect there, some batteries. And uh, yeah. Bunch of other different random accessories. So I've just noticed on my one that uh, I've got two of exactly the same masks, whereas it's supposed to be, uh, you know, more definitely a more angry version there on the right. So that's a shame. Need <laughs> to quickly show you how to take off the cape. It has magnets here and here. So that pops right off. And then you've got a nice look at the back there. And these do come off as well. Um, somehow, I need to look at the instructions. But yeah, just to give you the idea. It's how easy the cape is to take off. And he looks pretty cool about his cape as well. But um, yeah, no. <laughs> I need the cape on him. I'll just give you a quick look at the rail. You can see metal suit underneath. Such an awesome figure. Uh, you got your Doom butt down there. You can also have some sculpting on his butt. And again, the chainmail. Just, yeah. Wow. Pretty cool, man. So, just as a follow up to uh, those back um, plates on him, where you can install his jetpack pieces. For the life of me, I can't get these off, um, and because I know this guy's been out for a while and been covered extensively already, um, there's a lot more, probably better videos, the amazing one of them, obviously, that will show you. Uh, obviously, those plug into the back, there's plates, as per so, um, and yeah, we also, that's where you can plug in the siphon tubes as well. So that's there. I'm not going to do it. Plenty of videos out there, <laughs> so excuse me. Um, but uh, yeah, just give me. And just taking a quick look at the articulation for this Doom. Um, it is a very heavy figure again, um, and die cast, so don't expect a lot. But in terms of the head, it's pretty good actually. Um, so you can pretty much go right around, uh, up that high. We'll take the hood off so we can see properly. So yeah, you can go up a lot and down. Not too bad. Um, so you can still get them looking down uh, for different poses and stuff. That's typically how I have them. Um, so it's not too bad. Arms can go right out to about there. Uh, so a bit more than 90. And swivel here and double. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah. I hope that can just pop back on. We'll soon find out. Um, or I might just have to get some blue. So yeah, that's that happened. Um, not ideal. I'm doing that right. I'll see if I can sort this out. Otherwise, it's gonna bug me for the rest of this review. Be right back. And we got it. All right. So it did have uh, two. Little pins, uh, plastic pins that just need to be popped back into place. So do be aware of that. Um, but yeah, they're back on there now, and that's okay. I'll just have to be careful, mindful not to put too much pressure on that area again. Uh, there's no swivel here. Well, at least actually there is. So the gauntlet can. Okay, it's just the gauntlet set that's able to move, which is on top of the back there. And we've got a bit of swivel here in the hands. Not too much. Um, so it's pretty limited. So. Yeah, you can't really push it too far forward in. But I guess he's wearing a suit, so hey, it makes sense. Uh, in terms of the torso, there's a there's a bit of movement here. So you can get some swivel at the upper torso. Uh, 
there's a bit of crunch there at the bottom. Very limiting though. Um, and for the legs, you can pop them out to about there. That's some nice detail of mesh here in the inner leg. That looks pretty cool. Knees, there's a, there's a double joint there, but you're not getting a lot of movement from that, uh, unfortunately. And then we've got the little feet, and it's a bit of swivel, not too much, I, that, which is actually fine for me because that, there's a lot of pressure going on these ankles. So yeah, you don't want it to be too too loose and too weak. So yeah, there's our doom. And here we have our Mezco Doctor Doom and Marvel Legends Doctor Doom for comparison. And yeah, hands down, the Mezco is <laughs> a superior figure in, in every way. Um, Articulation-wise, this guy isn't that great, to be honest with you. I mean, you, you, pretty much everything you can do with him, you can do with the Mezco figure, if not more so because of this plastic tunic here. And yes, you can buy, you know, a custom cape and a, and a, and a custom tunic for him, but which is what I was actually looking into doing before the Mezco Doctor Doom was announced, and then I'm glad I hold off. Yeah, he, he just looks, he looks amazing. I actually think I prefer a real clean look for this new Doctor Doom without the gun even. Um, just, the gun's a little bit bulky for me. Belt seems to be as low as it wants to go um, without popping off. And here we have our Doom with Mr. Fantastic. And the more and more I look at this read, uh, the more I want the Nezco Fantastic Four suit. This is just a cheap figure. <laughs> but um, just to give you a, ah, yeah. Still taking Doom down though. Eh? And for a Mezco comparison, here we have Victor with Storm and Norman, Green Goblin. And I'll be doing a review on this dude next. So please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So you can watch that review when I drop it. I know it's a little bit late, but being in New Zealand, we do get our figures uh, later than most people, which kind of works out okay in, in terms of uh, you can cancel things when <laughs> you can watch reviews on them. Get an idea of what they're like. Save some money that way. It's uh, speaking of money. These rich dudes look very cool together. And for one more Mezco comparison, this is my Batman display. My Sovereign Knight suits fading like a weird red color. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it was just too much sunlight on it. I, I don't know because I tend to keep most of these out of the sunlight. So that, that is weird. Nothing else has faded in my collection ever. So um, I don't know if that's just the suit. Who knows, but um, regardless, <laughs> quite happy with my Batman display. But yeah, there's for the main event. He scales about the same height as Mr. Freeze, uh, even with the helmet on. So he is very tall. Yeah, he has his black mask and some of the others. So yeah, and bring in for some final thoughts on Ms. Cody's Doctor Doom. And yeah, overall, love this set. Unfortunately, I do not have one of the masks that's advertised on the back, um, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Like I said before, I'm happy with how he looks right now, with that particular mask on, so it's not a biggie for me. Um, and the other gripe, I suppose, is that he doesn't actually fold his arms, which he, he can do on the box. So, <clears throat> not quite accurately uh, advertised there, Mezco. <laughs> Ideally, that would be amazing if he could do that. That would just bring this up to, like, a next level figure. Um, but yeah, no, there's no butterfly joints there, so he is unable to actually cross his arms, which is gutting. But, I mean, you can still get him into some pretty cool poses. Um, and I have decided to take the gun off him on that belt. I think it will probably look better on the other belt. Um, it's a bit longer, so the gun will be able to drip down by his leg a bit better. Um, yeah, overall, love the accessories. We'll give you another look at those on the back there. Let's get you excited for when you get your one. Highly recommend this. Um, absolutely phenomenal figure. I, and it's a big price. Um, and I've been thinking about these last few days, but I think overall it is worth it, considering it's die cast, the amount of accessories there. Um, Yes, the argument is that it could have been, you know, the cost-cutting thing if we made them plastic, but you know, I'm definitely happy they went with die cast. It, it does make it feel more premium. And, um, yeah. There it goes. Well, again, uh, Green Goblins reviews coming up next. So please do subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, give this video a like. Let me know what you think of Doom. If you've already got them, let me know. Yeah, I'm pretty keen to see how the community feels about this guy uh, in some time as well. I think once some time passes, it'll be interesting to see if he is the definitive Dr. Doom action figure. But until then, take care. Thanks for watching the video up until the end. And uh, yeah, peace.